Okay, uh, here we go. I got P equals 2L plus 2W. So what I'm going to want to do for this problem is solve for, oh, I, want, I forgot to write it in there. It says solve for W. Okay, so I know that's a difficult thing because um, we have P and L and W and they only want us to solve for W, but there's a couple things I want you to remember. Whenever when we're saying solve for W, that means I want W to equal something at the end. Now, when we're doing other regular just equations, we got a value, right? We said W equals five, W equals eight. We got a value in that, you know, then we could go back and check our solutions. This is gonna be a little more difficult because we have, all, we have other variables. However, the process is exactly the same. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is remember I got to isolate my W. So I got to think about what are the two things that are happening to my variable? Well, it's being multiplied by two and it's being added by two L. It's being added because that's a positive two L. So remember, we always undo addition and subtraction first. So to undo adding two L, I'm going to now have to subtract two L. And I have to subtract two L on both sides by using the subtraction property of equality to produce equivalent equations. Now here's where it gets difficult. 2L minus 2L we know is zero, right? But what's P minus 2L? Well, since those don't have the same factors, they don't have, they've, one has a factor of P, one has a factor of L, they don't have the same factors, so they're not like terms. So guess what? We're just gonna leave it as P minus 2L, and that's it. So P minus TL, 2L equals zero plus 2W, which is 2W. So now we look at our variable and say, all right, now what has happened to my variable? Well, it's being multiplied by two. So to undo being multiplied by two, I'm gonna divide by two. And when I divide by two now, I get, that's gonna go, that two divided by two is one, one times w is w. Now here, there's a couple ways we're gonna work on this. I'm just gonna leave it as this problem. However, when we do other problems, I'll show you what it is. But this is being two, P minus 2L is now being divided by two. So what I have is P minus 2L divided by two equals W, which you notice I now have my variable by itself, which is exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna leave the answer in this format, um, even though I could break it down a little bit further. But for this problem, I'm just gonna leave it in this format for you to understand. It doesn't matter how it starts. When I say solve for that variable, the whole idea is to get that variable by itself. So all right, so uh, there you go. Hope it helps. If you have any questions, comments, add them below. Thanks.